now I'm going to hand over for our final new member, um, which is uh, uh, the, mu the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. Um, we have two or three people registered as Ikena. So I'm not sure who I'm going to open and find. Uh, hopefully, I find Ralph on the other end of it. So I'm just going to. OK, I got you. OK, this is um, uh, Chief Ralph Zaruki from the Movement for the Actualization of the Sovereign State of Biafra. Um, one thing I want to, to just do as a, a bit of introduction is, is talk a little bit about um, how very important um, uh, the chief is towards the nonviolent movement um, in, in Biafra. Um, Biafra has different movements um, that are running, and, and, and the chief has, uh, uh, has been the leading light on the, the request for non-violent change for the situation of the Biafran people for his entire life. We are truly honored to have him um, as a member, uh, membership in the UNP of the decisions around Biafra. There were many different um, uh, uh, groups, I will just be openly say it, who were applying for membership. Um, but to us, there was no doubt who was the right group for membership in, in, in the UNPO. Um, and that is the group that is led by Chief um, Uazurike, who, as I say, is, is truly um, a leader for, for the nonviolent change in Biafra. Um, Chief, I'm going to hand it over to you. We are really delighted to have you. Um, uh, and, and thank you for joining the UNPO. Thank you. Good afternoon. The President, Secretary General, Member States of the UNPO, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ralph Wazurike. I hold a degree in political science of the Punjab University, Chandigarh. I also hold a law degree of the Bombay University, India. I was called to the Nigerian bar in the year 1991. It's the year I was registered. Okay? So, being Maso, by definition, BIM means Jafra independence movement and MASOP is a movement for the actualization of the service of Jafra. Then part of Nigeria. And eastern part of Nigeria was part of the area amalgamated in 1914. And that amalgamation did not in any way receive the consent of the people of Biafra and other parts of Nigeria. The tendency was that bad bedfellows were young together in Nigeria as one country. That was a very devastating thing that happened to Nigeria. Because of the um, Within nature of Nigeria, the eastern part of Nigeria was predominantly Christian, while the rest of Nigeria was predominantly Muslim. The tendency was that the eastern part of Nigeria became an endangered species in Nigeria. The northern oligarchies led by the House of Fulani, singular attitude of wanting to conquer the rest of Nigeria. They want to Islamize the entire Nigeria and to take over the land of Christians who are predominantly the people of Eastern Nigeria. This they do by force and by killing up of our people in all the northern states of Nigeria, including even the uh, southwest. The tendency is that the lives and property of our people are not secured in Nigeria. 
1966, there was a Pandora of attack on the people of Eastern Nigeria. All our citizens in the, in, 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 in the northern states of Nigeria and even in the western region were slaughtered. Most of our citizens living in their areas were slaughtered. He, the tendency was that the then military head of state, uh, military governor of Eastern region, Bim Ormegoju, may his soul rest in perfect peace, had to bring together his people to safeguard their lives and property, and by that process, declared the Biafran uh, independence. As soon as Ormegoju did that, the entire Nigerian state joined together to fight against the people of Eastern region, now known as Jaffa. They barricaded the entire Eastern region, served the entire Eastern region of food, and with the help of some foreign national uh, countries, the entire Biafra land was suffocated. The tendency was that we lost over 3 million people in that exile. Between 1967 and 1970, the war ended and we had lost almost more than 3 million people. Immediately after the war, the killing of our people continued in Nigeria unabated. Our investments in Nigeria were considered as abandoned property. Our people were escaped from the governance of Nigeria. There was a ceiling placed over our heads. In the appointment in federal ministry. But the most important thing to us was the lack of safety for the people of Biafra. Our people were killed like sheep, like animals in Nigeria. We were excluded from anything governance in Nigeria. So by 1999, we were constrained to form the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Java. Because all the issues that brought about the, 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 the 1967 to 1970 uprising Nigeria never abated. So we floated a, 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 an organization that set time to see the way our people come out of Nigeria without resorting to violence or war. It was because of this particular exercise that I had to travel to India to understand Mahatma Gandhi who happened to achieve independence for India through non-violence. I spent almost 10 years in India under studying Mahatma Gandhi. So, the movement for actualization of the Soviet state of Jaffa must was to disengage Jaffa uh, from Nigeria through non-violence because we are no longer willing to sacrifice the li lives of our people in Nigeria. And we felt that any war in the present day Nigeria will result into exodus of, of uh, refugees into sub West African sub-region and even Africa and to the whole world. And we do not intend to create an avenue 
we are much uh, one matter um and the uh, weapon uh matters of weapons we trade on their businesses and more than that we do not want anything that will cause death to our members and we believe that peace is the most important thing in the face of men and that if we if we resort to war many people will die many of our members will die and at the end of the day we must come around the double conference for peace i agree that instead of resorting to war and coming past the peace we will pursue the line of peace right from the world go so that was the essence of floating model in 1999. But since we finished floating muscle, still the danger has not been averted. Our people are still being killed in Nigeria every other day. We can understand that recently, some years ago, there was the Boko Haram in Nigeria. There was also the uh, Fulani health men. The essence of all these organizations were to undermine our people, to kill our people, and to take our land. So, what do we do? We are the terrorists who are Boko Haram are being sponsored by the federal government. And the same federal government is the one encouraging Fulani Katu men to come to our place, the Biafra land, to rape our women, to kill our people, to devastate our farm land, and to take away our land. And we need to look and to ask, does this mean that one violence movement is no more or no longer recognized in the whole world? Must we be pushed to war by all means? The Biafra movement, they are headed by me, many other factions, all these factions, all factions, majority of them are not them. These factions were segments of persons who went out and formed their own organization. But recently, the government of Nigeria clamped down on most of these non violent organizations. I cannot recall how many times I have gone to jail. I have had three reasons leveled against me several uh, several times. Our properties have been destroyed. In Okigwe, our headquarters was burnt by the federal government. That the debris of the house is still in Okigwe today. And we feel and we are glad today that we are members of the UNPO. The essence of joining the UNPO is to let the world know or hear our voice. And we believe that through the UNPO also, our rights to be safeguarded. We know that some former members of the UNPO have to take again the independence and join the United Nations organization. And we believe that in their future, in a very near future, through the help of God, Jaffa will also be a member of the, U of the United Nations organization. I am very thankful to the UNPO for pursuing our application. I am also very happy that today the world is hearing us. 
we plead and pledge that we continue to respect all the rules and regulations of the UMPO and that we are going to be a fruitful member of the UMPO. And I think by the grace of God, our prayers will be heard. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.